All right, my name is Matt, and today I will be doing a really quick and a simple DJ Avatar drone review. It's my first drone, and uh, as a first drone operator, I have a kit with the drone, V2 glasses with screwable uh, antennas, and a motion controller, which I, I think is the first version. Uh, which means it doesn't have a joystick here. So, at first I will start with the pluses. So, video quality is really nice. It will be, I think it will be the same as using a GoPro or the same video camera which I have right now, which is DJI Action 4. The, when I fly up with the drone, really up high, uh, the video footage itself is, the clouds are blue, Everything 4K, I think it had a, like a 120 or 60 frames a second, which basically 4K, um, I would not, um, uh, I would not want more than 60 frames a second anyways. So the video quality itself is really good, so that's a plus. Another thing, I wanted actually a FPV drone, the, 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 because I thought it's the fastest one and anything, but... I went to the store and they didn't have it. They said uh, they, the deliveries are delaying, etc. But we have this this kit right here. And I thought, well, all right, uh, I will take just this because I don't know where to start. I have never had a drone, so where to start. And actually, I'm really happy that I take this drone instead of the FPV one, FPV drone. Because I crashed it at fir first day. Even though I'm a safe pilot, I'm really good with uh, computers, I'm really good with car driving uh, and everything, I'm, re I'm, pre I'm pretty safe. But I crashed it accidentally, not because of my error, because of the drone's error. I'll talk about it a little bit later. So, because it has these uh, covers here, these protection ones, um, I, it's, it, I think it's already 10 times crashed, uh, sometimes a little bit faster, sometimes slower. In, 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 <laughs> in one case, there was a girl walking by me and she said, Hey, what happens if I throw a towel on the drone, like a, a dish towel? And I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't meant that she will throw it on, but she threw it on and the towel got stuck in the propellers and it got a little bit louder. Some pro propellers have a little bit, a little bit bent, but uh, anyway, I didn't change them. I use them as they are afterwards. So it, the the drone got a little bit louder, and at some point it tilted a little bit. But everything is fine. So I crashed it full speed one time in a in a house wall. I wanted to do a quick maneuver. It's still good. Uh, or normally FPV drone would already would need replacement parts. So that's expensive. That's costing for a first drone. Um, it's, I think it's the absolute best choice. So, uh, uh, how did I crash at the, at the first day? So, <laughs> the first day I was flying around, I, f I flew under a house, uh, like a like a large, uh, like a like a large shack. I flew in it, and he decided it's time to fly back because the battery is uh, because the battery is uh, almost empty. So, what he did, it starts flying upwards. But I was so close to the wall that it ran into wall, smashed somewhere, then smashed another place, and just jammed there. That was the first time. The second time I crashed because I wanted to land close to house wall, and it started landing, landing, and slowly like this, and it ran into the wall and fell out, and the battery flew away also. But it was like a couple of meters up in there, so uh, when you are really close to an object, uh, it, it tends to like fly fly to the object, I don't know. It has a, under under it has like a stability cameras which in a way help, but if you are in a darkness or really dark place, they don't help, or in, in, even if you are flying under a tree, which is shaking in the sky, the, the drone will be shaking itself also. And if you fly under a roof, and all of a sudden you lose GPS signal, it starts flying like this. It doesn't keep stable anymore, so it's flying like this. Another thing, and look, listen to this really importantly. When you buy this drone, it maybe flies 300 meters away and then the goggles start to lose signal. That's the maximum what you get. But you can download a free hack, install it into the goggles and it will fly much longer, maybe twice or maybe three times more. I can go with this in Europe maybe uh, 
uh, 1.5 kilometers. It, the more higher the drone flies, the further away it can fly. So uh, if you are if you are flying ground level with trees and obstacles in front, maybe 300 meters, maybe 200 meters, maybe behind the tree it will already lose coverage. So that really depends. So they don't fly very far away, but I don't think you need uh, the drone to fly like two two kilometers and further because uh, it will have not enough battery to fly back. So okay, so this is the overall really good choice, really good drone, uh, really fun to drive. Now let's get to the goggles. The goggles you can actually see pixels, and when you start flying really fast, uh, I think it blurs also. So there's like a, some kind of a refresh rate uh, that. Uh, so when you when you are flying really fast, maybe the drone vibrates and cause the camera to shake. Uh, maybe the goggles are blurry itself. Who knows? But what happens is when I'm flying really fast through obstacles, you don't you don't quite you eventually understand what's actually going on. You just fly by intuition, or I don't know. But if you fly slowly, enjoyable, no problem at all. But you can see pixels in this. It's really pixel. I have a. I have a virtual uh, Oculus uh, virtual reality glasses. They are much higher in resolution, and if your computer allows more resolution to pass through, um, uh, you can. If, if you have like a really really high end computer, uh, you 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 can barely see pixels there. On this, you can see pixels. So uh, in overall, they have a, a ventilation. Uh, Oculus Quest doesn't have ventilation, and you cannot use Oculus Quest with this one. Because there is a built-in software, there's a radio communication. Uh, with, I, I thought maybe I have a drone and a controller. Uh, maybe I could just use that one, but it's not possible. It's a, it's a, they three work together with special software and special communications. Um, yeah. So now to the controller. Now, if you want to buy this drone, keep in mind it's not a filming or a scenario uh, a drone. It's maybe a drone to have fun with. Because uh, it has only vertical uh, stabilization. If you fly like this, the whole uh, image will be a little bit tilted. So, and there are more minuses when it comes to this uh, to, to this joystick. It's really simple and easy to use uh, with this one. Those who don't have it, the, when you start using it, there's a the when you put on the goggles, there will be, for example, you're flying, there will be a circle in the middle, like a, when you play Counter Strike, like a crosshair. And uh, where you aim this uh, and push the gas, there will the drone fly. And it's simple as that. So what will happen is, why is it good, why this joystick is good, and why is it bad? The good is, it's really easy to fly, really fun to drive, uh, I mean fly, downsides. With this version 1, you cannot do uh, tons of video... Uh, shots beautiful shots that you can do what happens is it doesn't even fly backwards with this it doesn't fly sideways with this it just flies straight forward so if you want to go uh, really fast you want to pick up and go through tight edges and through windows straight no problem but when you want to do scenario videos like flying sideways and filming a tower flying backwards flying only straight up this is with this v1 it's not possible to do that so if you want to buy avatar for filming you should definitely uh, look at uh, the controller or uh, i think they have a like motion controller or motion joystick uh, second version uh, which basically allows you to fly upwards sideways and and keep and forwards and backwards so you can keep your look on an object and uh, fly sideways for example that's a good option and there is also the uh, goggles uh, newer version which allows you to fly and uh, look around that 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 would be also a consideration so anyway i will give uh, if i could choose a better drone i don't think i will find a better drone drone for this one uh, for my needs because i want to fly fast if i will want to have an update right now i would buy the versus 2 joystick uh, the the uh, motion control joystick too. I will not buy the, you know, the PlayStation controllers or how you call it. I will not buy them because uh, I I don't know how to fly with them. It's difficult. But this one is fun. You just push the throttle and it flies like blasting through uh, really quickly. It's really easy to use actually. I would recommend buy this drone 
with the motion control stick too, if you're a complete beginner. If you're like a fully manual, then you definitely would need uh, these controllers as well. So about battery life, um, this is the, the battery. Uh, it depends actually how fast you accelerate, how fast you break down and everything. I believe you can get around slowly flying around 20, min 20 minutes and keeping accelerated, braking, accelerating, running and braking and turning and up and down and doing quick. Maybe you get around 7 minutes. Uh, and by average you will get around 12 to 15 minutes, I guess, by average. I have two of these batteries. Um, the uh, goggles, uh, the, the goggle batteries, it's the actual worst, uh, uh, not the worst, but it's, I think it's the slowest battery. I think one, this fully charged, can use up uh, four drone batteries, like four, four drone batteries. But the thing is, it charges, this battery charges pretty so slowly, and, uh, and this is, I think, the, the the most slowest battery for this one. Uh, and it actually drains pretty fastly also. So uh, if you want to buy and do lots of flights, I maybe would consider uh, two of these and four of the drone batteries. Uh, joystick is no problem. I think it could last around four to six batteries, but I have never had issues with uh, battery life for this for this joystick. And. Uh, and it actually the when you set it up, I don't take the under underneath these uh, antennas off because it's it takes when you want to fly, you take it out, you turn it on. Mm, the drone with the joystick is already connected. You can lift up instantly, um, but the goggles are black for like a minute, and then they turn on, and you still need to screw these antennas. So it gets a, it gets like a, maybe one minute and thirty seconds. You're up in the air. Uh, so these, uh, if you want to do quick flights, oh, let's do a flight quickly. Uh, I would buy the newer versions because you don't need to screw the antennas on. Uh, that's that's uh, I think for these goggles, it's also a downside. And uh, the rest of all is pretty good actually. It's pretty good. It, it, uh, I thought it'll be much longer booting. It's really fast actually. They, I think they really have spent time to to make it fast, so you can fastly fly. Don't need to do anything. And then, and then, yeah. So, uh, what would I want for this drone to be better is to have a second version joystick, which can uh, go up and down, left and right, forwards and backwards, which I think is a motion controller too. That would I want. I would want. Uh, I would want. Uh, the, the, the glasses to be without these screwable parts, so the second version gla gla goggles I would want. And and what else? It would be really nice and really super if the communication radio signals would be a little better and a little longer. So if I could fly not like a kilometer or half one and a half kilometers away from the from my side, but maybe three. That would be really excellent, that would be really nice, because sometimes you fly behind something and the coverage gets really bad, so that's annoying. But uh, that would be really nice. So overall, this kit is really nice, I really enjoy flying it, and uh, if you consider buying it, you can ask me some questions, I will respond and answer you 